Hello friends, this is Mohamed Shakil here and in this tutorial series I'll be showing you how you can design a chair in Kitsia V5. This is a third, third powerful tutorial and uh, here we're going to design the corner support as you can see here and this one and this one. So this and this are not the same. So let's just uh, switch back to our work file. Select this chair study here, go for insert new part and uh, when you are asked for this one you could go for yes and expand the tree and make sure you are changing the name to for maybe back support corner it's just to recognize the part maybe later it will be helpful when you are doing the assembly now double click on this part body so that the workbench work changes to part design now what you can do is uh, select the sketch and go for the front view now just create a rectangle and again this dimension is based on my observation I didn't use any uh, measuring tape so this is 20 and this one is uh, 350 now I'm gonna do some patterns over here so for doing that pattern I need one axis line where I know that I need to stop the pattern till there so must be like 250 or you could give 230 now I'm gonna create a pattern over here so just it's not based on any dimensions so just try to create almost similar to what I create so you'll be getting an output which is almost similar to mine so before doing that pattern just use an axis line or else instead of axis line you could create a solid line and use a three point arc and I'm actually observing the chair which is right in front of me so just see it from the total how much it is this much long it is and just imagine and start doing it this much now again from here like this when you are uh, bugged by the automatic dimension what you can do is you can use the shift key and now come here take a closer look because you have a kind of bump here that's it again come back try to go a little faster now 
Uh, access line is so far. Just keep creating some designs unless and until it, re it reaches right here. And once it reaches here, we could uh, do it something like this and here you can see it's not really smooth here so if you feel it's not really smooth you could select that this one and go for tangency and now you could use a line here and cut it across like this and use the trim command trim this portion this portion here and don't leave this line here and trim this portion and now trim this one and this one all you can do you can just come out and use the shaft command and the axis you could select this axis right here and click on ok and that completes the this particular portion and let's see what you could be doing in the next part of the tutorial thank you so much for watching and if you have any doubt you could come below the video and i hope uh, you really don't have a doubt in this one as long as uh, you take time and start creating this pattern it's not really a problem thank you so much and stay tuned